Hello, everybody. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Instagram. I hope y'all are having a great afternoon. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Shannon. How are you guys doing today? Today we're making pirates. Arrgh. <laughs> Ruby and Lucy's here. That's fantastic. So, hello, GG615. How are you? We are going to make pirates today. Hello, Mom. How are you? I see that you have decided to join us today. <laughs> We're making pirates today. So, you know... I'm going to just give a little spill of what we need. You know, I like to let people join us. I wanted to show that I have been painting some classes and some classes, um, things that I've been painting. And then this is one of our, my new watercolor classes is painting hydrangeas. This one is Lisa Bush. Okay. <laughs> Um, this one is actually going to be a paid class. It's going to be Monday and Tuesday, but you kind of need to know watercolor before you sign up for it because it's kind of, well, it's just practice. It's just, um, okay. So you know what I've been looking? I know you have Lisa. <laughs> I've watched you. Um, Lisa says she's been following me for forever. So I am so excited that y'all are here. And let's go over some supplies. So I do this every day at 2 o'clock. Tell your friends. Tell people. All you need is some paper. I use watercolor paper. 140 pound right here. Uh, it's nice strong paper. And in order to save my money, I've actually cut it in half. And I actually have two pieces of paper on my one. So that's how I do that. And then for my practice exercises, I actually take that piece of paper and I actually cut it in half. And that this is my little practice sheet. And so that's really the way I save my paper. So that's one thing that you're going to need. So I like watercolor paper, but it can be any paper. I have a little thing of watercolors. Uh, this is just a 14 set, no, nothing really special, but um, it works just fantastic. You could buy the Crayola cheap ones too, it's not that problem. You need a pencil, okay, and I like to use a black pen at the end. I love to see your work afterwards, and I also need a... Um, watercolor brush and a watercolor brush is basically it's very soft watercolor brushes are normally soft and you don't want to keep them in water all the time that actually hurts them so they're not like acrylic brushes okay now yesterday we oh well let's talk about what we're going to do this week so today is our pirate day right tuesday pirate day and we're going to learn how to paint around stuff today. That is what we're going to do in our exercise. So this is Tuesdays. And then we're going to start celebrating Easter. So I'm going to do a little baby chick on Wednesday. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yep. He, my mother used to have chicks. And we would actually uh, get to be with chicks. They're kind of gross and messy. But they are so cute. And a little fluffy fluffy things and then I'm going to celebrate Easter with on Thursday with a Peter Rabbit bunny thing that we're going to do so uh, just know that that's coming up on Thursday so if you're interested just make sure that you join me you can also catch it on my page and you can actually um, watch it on the replay too so let's get started Hi, Barb. Hi, Carrie. Um, hi, Amy. So, we are about to start on our exercises for the day. So, I'm going to get my little piece of paper out. 
and I'm going to show, hi Debbie, how are you? I'm glad that you're joining me. Today we are doing a pirate. Tomorrow we are doing baby chicks. And then Thursday we're doing bunny rabbits. And we are doing it with watercolor. So feel free to join me if you can. Okay, now let's do a couple exercises. So one of the things about this exercise is I want us to learn how to paint around something. So you see he has a big sword knife thing here. Well, you don't paint that because it's going to be white. So how do we paint white with watercolor? Does anybody know? You leave it. You leave it. You don't use it. You don't do it. You actually draw something and then you draw, you paint all the way around it. So for instance, I'm going to draw I'm going to draw a couple squares, okay? Now this is practice, nothing major special about this, but I want us to learn how to paint around something. So in each one of these, I'm going to draw a shape and I'm going to draw this one, I think I'm going to draw a heart, okay? This one over here, I think I'm going to just draw a big old zero, okay? This one, I think I'm going to draw a plus sign. So I draw a bunch of rectangles. It could also be a cross if you wanted, okay? And... This one, let's draw a triangle. What if this one was two, all right, two rectangles. And then let's say that, what do we think this one should be? Uh, I don't know here, let's see. Let's do two circles. just like that. Now, the key to this exercise is, is we're going to paint each one of these, but we are going to not paint the shape, okay? This is a lesson of positive and negative sh space. So the positive thing is the actual heart, the actual circle. And anything on the background here is the negative space, okay? So let's repeat. The object is actually the positive space and the background is always the negative space okay so let's start painting today we have to let's see i'm moving that off the screen for just a minute so let's activate our watercolors so i like to spray my watercolors with a spray bottle it's just got plain water in it and i spray it a few times or another way to do it is you actually put your paintbrush in the water and then you tap it and then you wipe it down on your paper towel and then you go back to the water. Then you tap it into the paint and then you tap it on your paper towel. The key here is that we always have to come back to the paint with a clean paintbrush. And one of the reasons I paint my paper towel so much is because I want to save my water so my water doesn't get messy. Now, the reason you want your water to be really nice and clean is because every time you come in here, right, into your water, you don't want, like, muddy water to get into some pretty color because that would be gross, right? That would be awful. Ugh. And sometimes... That happens, so I would suggest when your water gets really, really dirty that you replace your water. That's really smart. Okay, so I have activated. I just wanted to show you all how to do that. I'm going to pull this off screen, okay? And I'm going to bring back my shapes. Okay, so we are going to paint only the negative space. 
So we can pick any colors that we want. I'd like this to be pretty colorful though. So I'd like us to pick six different colors. That is six, right? Two, four, six, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take blue. And I'm going to paint my blue into this heart, or my first one. And the key is, now what I did there was I put water on my brush and I dipped it into my blue. And then I put it on the negative space. So I'm learning how to paint around the positive image. Now, it's really nice and light right now, and that's, that's okay. We want it to be nice and light right now. Okay, I've also got my paper towel right next to me, and I put my... Um, we're going to do some layers here also. So, now I'm going to come over here to the second one. Everybody with me? Yeah? <laughs> Maybe? I'm going pretty fast today, because I want to get us to the pirate. So... I'm painting only around every object. And I'm just going to continue on. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go with orange for my plus sign. I want us to learn how, one, it helps us control how much water we have on our brush. That's really important. Because if you have too much water on your brush, it gets, it's almost uncontrollable, right? Like it gets into your positive space. And we definitely want, we don't want, that's the right answer here. Do you see that? I actually decided I was going to paint around the outline of my triangle first and then paint the background. Okay, that works really nice. I'm going to continue. I think I'm going to do, this, I have pretty purple pink color here. Okay, and I'm just painting the square, and I'm making sure I don't paint inside the positive shape. So, I'm coming over here to my green. That's going to be my last one. And now, we've got to be really careful. Now, I'm painting really fast, I know. But I also want to show you all what I'm going to talk about here. So, each one of these has... Some paint, right? Okay, now I'm moving it in and out of screen because I've got two of you going. I've got Facebook and Instagram going at the same time. And so one of the cameras to the right, one's to the left. Okay, so now I've done that and I have one layer. So we are now going to do a second layer. We're going to do it with the same color that we did, we started with. This time, I want a little bit less paint on my, not paint, I want a little bit less water on my brush. So I'm coming straight into my blue here. You see how much more potent that is? It's got more pigment in it. Okay, so I am coming in and I'm just coming and getting some more of that. Now, if it's not flowing really well, you may need to put some water on your brush. So see, I, I needed a little bit more water. And you see when I did that, it's also making it darker and easier to do. All right, and we are painting the negative space, which is the space around the object. So I'm coming in here. I think that was this color. I don't know. Now I'm just making it up. And I'm literally painting again right over it. And every time you do that, it gets darker and darker. So now I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to do that to that. I love that orange color. It's so bright. And you're trying to not get it into that positive space, which right there was the plus sign. So I'm going to do my red, red uh, triangle, right? So I don't have a lot of paint, um, not paint, I don't have a lot of water on my paintbrush. I only have red on my paintbrush. And I'm coming in and I'm just painting the background, which is the negative space. Oh, I like that. All right. Now, we're 
You don't have to finish this work. If you're not done, that's okay. I just wanted us to practice not painting to leave white. This is how you paint white in watercolors. There's always a white pan of color, like right there. You'll notice I never, ever, 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 ever use it. It hardly works at all. It's just a waste of space, honestly. I don't like it at all. So the best use of white is to actually not paint it and paint on a white background, which is like your paper, and you leave it. And that's the best way. Okay, guys. So I feel pretty good about this. And I am going to play with this. Now, I don't like that. Okay, whatever I just did, y'all don't need to do. We need to wait for it to be dry before I do that. Okay, so that is our exercise. Our exercise is to not paint the inside of our shapes here. And that is called the positive, right? The heart is a positive space. The circle is a positive space. And the background is negative space. Okay? All right. Any questions on that before we get started with our pirate? I am watching and I am looking. If you have any questions, now's your chance while I get ready to do our pirate. Okay? So I'm going to move that off the screen. And I want to show you that. Now I need my piece of paper. Where do you think I did that? And that's this right here. I'm going to get... I'm going to move my paint to the side real quick, and I'm going to move him up. Y'all see him right there? Yeah? Okay, and I'm going to move that right there. Now, here's a couple of things. Everybody gets to start with the same thing. We could have girl pirates and boy pirates, okay? That's what's so great about pirates, right? We can do whatever we want. They all kind of have some of the same outfit. <laughs> Because pirates don't have that many clothes, right? They're on a ship. Okay, so here we go. This is what we're going to start with. we got to start with a body first. So here we go. I'm going to take that off screen and I'm going to... Let's make a body. So here we go with our body. So our first thing that we're going to do is make a head. I would advise you to write really lightly, Okay. You don't need to write as dark as I am because you don't need to. So I am first making a circle that is going to be my head. Okay. Now we've got to do a neck. So I have a little neck. Everybody has to have a neck. Okay. That's important. We don't have necklace people here, right? Everybody has a neck. Now we need shoulders. Everybody needs shoulders too. So one of the best things to do with shoulders is I like, if this is my head, I like to go at least as far as my head. Sometimes just a little bit farther. Okay? Y'all see that? If I went down like this, it goes just a little bit farther. Okay, now I'm going to draw my arms. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to just draw two lines down. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw those two lines. Everybody see that? We're drawing a body. Let's connect the arms real quick. So I'm going to come in and connect that. So I have two arms and a body. I'm going to go ahead. That's my waist. I'm connecting the two for my waist. Everybody see? Okay. Now we got to do our pants or our skirt. Whichever one you want to make, right? Draw lightly because you may be erasing this. So I am going to show you. Everybody draw two lines down like that. Now, if I was going to put pants on, 
what I'm going to do is I put a little dot right here and I make a V. Now, let's say I want it to be a skirt. Well, you still have to have legs for a skirt. So what I would do here is I would come down here and add that. And then I would erase. Now I have a special eraser here. You all have regular erasers. I'd erase that part right there. And now I have a skirt. Okay? Now, this doesn't matter so much because look, we're about to put a sword right there in the middle. But that's okay for now. We're going to do that. So now we got to put, I, I think boots because I just think that they all wear boots. So, I'm doing a rectangle on both boots, on both legs. Then I'm going to bring down and I'm going to do two shoes. All right. So, I have boots now, you know, I think I'm going to make, you know how some people, well, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw some clothes. No, not going to do that yet. Let's draw a face. We got to get, like, we don't even know if this is a girl or a boy, right? Like, it has no face. We got to have a face. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So, in the middle of your face, I'm going to draw this line. You don't have to, but I want to show you. At the middle of your face, that's going to be where your eyes are. So, I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to do two C's. Two half C's. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and connect them on the bottom. Now I like my noses just to be little L's. So I'll put a little L right there in the middle. And now I'm going to put a little smiley face. So I'm doing a catty wampus. Do y'all know what catty wampus means? <laughs> means not on center. Or that's what I think it means. And I am going to just do a little bit of that. Y'all see that? So she's kind of smiling. You know, pirates are kind of sly, right? And sneaky. So this is a sneaky smile. Okay, now what does every pirate have? Come on. Every pirate has an eye patch. <laughs> we have to do an eye patch. So I'm going to pick one eye and I'm going to draw a big old circle around it. And then I'm going to draw... A line that goes like that. Then I'm going to erase my little eye in there. There you go. Okay. Now, we got to have ears. Pirates need to hear. You know, what if a storm's coming or something, right? So I'm going to draw little C's for the ears. Okay, so right now, I have... That's a good looking pirate so far. I would like to have an eyeball in this eye next. So I am going to draw one big dot right there on his eye. Her eye. His eye. Whichever one. Then I drew a little eyebrow. An eyebrow is just a C. A little baby C at the very top there. Okay? Now, let's talk about hats for a minute. So I'm going to show you all this really quick. Look at all these different things. I got this from the internet, of course, of all the different things. Some people have a bandana and some people have hats. Look at all these different shapes of the hats. So I am going to draw a bandana and then I'm going to put a hat on top of it for you. Okay, so let's start there. So I'm going to start with a bandana. So, at first, I'm going to take, I'm going to cut his head off on the top half. I'm drawing a line. And then I'm going to draw another, like a cap, right? I'm just going to circle that. And then a bandana gets tied back here around the ear. 
So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to make a diamond shape. And this can actually go on top of his ear or behind his ear. Right now mine is behind my ear because you can see it. If you want your ear behind it, then all you've got to do is erase the ear. That's going to show it in the front foreground or background. Okay. This is looking good. So now you would have a bandana. If you have, want a bandana, this is all you have to do for the hat. But I want a bandana and I want a hat. So now on top of this bandana, I'm actually going to make another big arc. You see that? I made a really big arc. It's almost as wide as my shoulders if I went straight up. That's a good mark. Okay, and I'm going to make a rectangle. So I've come in and I've made a rectangle. And then I'm going to come in here. And you all see that? I'm going to get rid of that real quick. And that is going to be my hat. Now I'm going to erase because that's important, right? I don't know about you, but I'm getting confused. Can't get confused. Okay. So here's my hat shape right there. Now, I don't know about you, but they mostly, they always have hair. Sometimes it's really not very good hair, but they have hair, right? So we need to make some hair. So this one, I think I'm going just to make, so I'm coming down. I'm just doing that with my hair. Okay. Okay. I'm liking the hat. I'm liking the bandana. I'm okay. Her face is done. So now I'm going to get down to her clothes. Okay. So I've decided I really like this little baby's clothes, right? I like the fact she has a vest on. So we're going to draw the vest first. So we've got, we got to make an armhole. I'm making two armholes right like that, which are C's backwards. Then I'm going to come in here and do that right there. All right, now I'm not going to draw every one of these lines because I'm going to paint those lines later. Okay, so I'm going to just leave it the way it is, but I am going to make a sword. You see that? We're going to make a sword right now. It's going to go from this hand. So I'm coming here. I'm going to end her hand and I'm going to make one, two, three, four. Four little knuckles. That's what it looks like right there. Four knuckles. And I'm going to do a rectangle out from that. Okay. Then I'm going to draw a circle right next to it. All right. We with me? I'll pause for just a minute and get you cowed up. Okay, and now we've got to make the actual blade. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go really far out. One big straight line. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do kind of an arc. Kind of. See, it's kind of like a banana boat right there. And then I'm going to erase what I had in there. That's important because you kind of get confused, right? If you have all these lines. But that's also why you should actually draw really lightly. Now, this hand over here, I think it, she needs to be like Captain Hook, right? Captain Hook. So I'm going to take this off 
right here and I'm gonna go just like that and now she has a hook it's a basically a C a total C right there okay I'm feeling pretty good about this anybody else feeling good okay now here's the key remember we were talking about positive and negative space let's talk about this sword we want the sword to be white or silver or whatever right so we're gonna say white white is black bright so that's what we're gonna do and we are gonna paint all around this sword we are not painting the sword that is the key I want you to make sure that you don't paint the sword the other thing that I want us to make sure of is when we do the stripes along her shirt I'm not going to paint in all of those spaces I'm just going to paint the lines and leave the shirt white okay okay let's start painting we got 30 minutes to paint this baby. What do you think? Think we can do it? All right. Now, you know, a lot of, uh, one thing I forgot was my little skull and crossbones thing here. So I am going to draw, It kind of looks like a peanut. Y'all see that real little? And then I'm gonna draw a line with an X. You can hardly, I'm gonna go to each one of you so you can see that. You see, I didn't add a whole lot of detail to that. I just added like the shape. Okay guys, let's get our paints out. Do we have any questions? I'm looking if you have any questions. First thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to paint her shirt with those lines. I'm not going to paint the vest. I want the vest a different color. I'm just going to paint the sleeves and the inside of this vest and the sleeve here. So I'm going to go with flat out red. So I don't have a lot of red or water on my brush, but I have some red and I'm going to come in here and I'm doing little bitty marks just like that I'm gonna come over here and on this area I'm gonna do the same so I'm assuming that this line right here would go all the way across and that is how I'm adding my red marks Just like that. Ah, she's already cute. Don't you just love her? <laughs> okay. So, next, what I think I'm going to do is... I think... Let's talk about skin. Alright? Does anyone remember when we did our little boy and girl what our skins was? Alright, I'm bringing this over. I know you can't see... Um, my girl right now that's okay I want to pay attention to let's do that can y'all see that better yeah so I have been coloring over here on my lid so this is what I want us to do we're gonna mix a skin tone all right everybody starts this way it doesn't matter what color you are okay so I start with orange and I put some orange down on my lid okay you see I'm kind of making a mess I want all of it down there then I'm gonna wipe off my brush on my paper towel I'm gonna go get some more so I get some more water on my brush come over here to my orange and put it down so I'm making the pile just a little bit bigger okay and I'm wiping off my brush now I'm gonna go into red Did everybody hear that I cleaned off my brush and now I've got red on my brush and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put it down in this orange pile and I'm gonna mix it together now that's awfully red that's okay though what's a way to make this lighter does anyone know 
you add more water. That is the key here. You add more water. So I'm going to clean off my brush, get some more water on my brush, and I'm just going to come over here and put it in this area. It already made it lighter. Now, a good way to test this is to have some scrap paper next door and do that and test it and say, oh, is that light? Is that too dark? I think I still want it a little bit lighter. So what I'm going to do is wipe off my brush, get some more water, and add to it. And then I test it again. That's better. I like that much better. So that's the color I'm going to use. So I add more water to it. And that is going to be my skin tone. Now, let's say you have different skin tone, right? Let's say you're darker skin. If you're darker skin, you could go in and add some brown to this color. You always start with this because this has a nice soft color to it. And everybody has certain skin tones that have these colors in them. They've just been added, okay? I did a whole lesson on skin tones once and it was very fascinating. Okay, so I'm going to use the color that I just made and I'm going to paint her face. I'm going to work real hard not to get on that eye patch or her eye. I'm just getting all around it. I'm even going to get her ear. I'm going to get her neck. That's important. And then these little bitty fingers, which I guess aren't fingers, right? They're knuckles. Isn't that what I said? Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. If I want it darker, I can add more to it, but I want to wait for it to dry first. Let's do some hair. I think that my hair is going to be dark brown. So I'm going to get in some brown. Yours can be whatever. Now don't forget that we had a bandana right there, right? So I'm going to paint that next. I'm going to paint it blue. Alright, so I'm being really careful not to get my paint everywhere. And if you all noticed, I don't have a lot of water on my brush. That's key when you're doing fine details. Okay? Now, let's do... I think I'm going to do black on her eye patch, a black hat, but I'm not going to paint the skull and crossbones. I think I'm going to paint the sword black, and I think I'm going to paint, I think I might paint her skirt or her pants black too. All right, so here we go. I'm going into black. If you don't have black, use brown. If you don't have that, you can use whatever color you want. There's nothing special about it. Okay. So, I'm just coloring in. I'm working real hard not to get into that skull. That's hard to do. We didn't practice our fine motor skills today. We just sort of worked on painting backgrounds, right? But we practiced enough. You could do it. So there's my sword. Looking good. Coming in here. Doing the skirt. Now, you know, one of the things that I learned about most of the skirts that pirates wear, they don't, they're ratty down here at the bottom, right? So, I'm going to do that right there. You know, my girl's skirt doesn't go all the way down there. So, you know what? I think I am going to paint her legs right there. You don't have to. You could make them have stockings. They could have socks. Real big socks. That would be fun. Alright, I said I think I'm going to do black shoes. So, I'm coming in here doing some black shoes. Just like that. Yes. All right. I 
think we're going to make it a leather vest. So what color do you think leather is? Uh, mine's going to be brown. Brown leather. So I've got some brown coming in here. And I'm painting some brown leather vest. She's looking pretty good, don't you think? You see anything that I'm missing? I see some things. Okay. So, I want to... we got to do something with this right here. You think it's black? At least this part's black, right? Sometimes it's okay to just not have anything right there. I think she needs, I'm waiting for everything to dry. That's why I'm headed to the background. So I'm going to draw a bottom here, something for her to stand on. This is called a horizon line. Everybody needs a floor. Otherwise, she looks like she's just floating. We gotta have a horizon line. That is very, very important. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I forgot to do the patch. How many people were screaming at me to do the patch? I forgot, I forgot. So I don't have much on my brush there. There we go, that feels better. Okay, now I'm gonna paint the background. And you see how when I paint the background, it's kind of messy. It's kind of all over the place. That's what's cool about this. Do you also notice I try really hard not to get that close to my person? And why is that? My person at this point is the positive space. And the background is the negative space. And it doesn't need all the attention. So that's why it's kind of messy. So I'm going to get me some blue. And I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to get me some more water and work on doing that. I'm working really hard not to get it into my person. Now, down here where I have the claw, I'm being real slow. And I'm getting really close to it without touching it. Because, you know, it's probably gray, right? Well, that's kind of black. They don't... So, that's why. Oh, does anyone see what's happening to my eyeball over here? Oh, dear. We can fix it, though. Never fear. Okay. I'm just adding some color to it. And you, you know, one of the things that I like about adding the background to it, I feel like that's when she pops out of the, she pops out of the background. And it's like, I'm alive, I'm alive. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do. I didn't have a whole lot of water on my brush when I did that. That takes practice. If you added more water to your brush, chances are it's going to bow a whole lot. You might need to rest, rest it, meaning let it dry, and then come back to it. Okay, so I'm going to work on her eye. I think I'm going to make a green eye this time. What do you think? Okay, so I've got some green. I do not have a lot of paint on my brush. Y'all see that? I do not have a lot of water on my brush either, and it's a tiny little dot. Tiny little dot, and that's it. That's all I'm doing. Now, okay, everything's been painted at least once. And I'd say that our person, our pirate alone, is probably almost dry. So now it's the time, you'll see how, now's the time you go in with the same color that you used and you make things darker. 
Okay, so this kind of goes back to what we were doing when we were making layers with our backgrounds, right? So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take the red first because that's what we started with. And I'm going to do just a few places that I feel like are kind of light, uh, like this whole arm was light. I'm only doing part of it. And you see how when I do only part of it, only part, so it's starting to make it look round. Okay, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to my brown, my leather vest. Vest is, I don't think that's right, but that's in my world. So I'm going to add some brown in here. Some lines. You see that? Ah, much better. Okay. Next, I'm going to go into my black. I'm going to start up here. And this time, I'm only going to outline the hat in black. I'm not really worried about the inside. How we doing? Anybody got any questions as I start filling this in? I am watching if you are, if you have questions. I don't have a lot of paintbrush or, or water on my paintbrush right now. I'm trying to fix that a little bit. That got messy. I don't think I'm going to add anything to her skin tone, but she's starting to look a little blue. Somewhere along the lines, something bled, bleeded. That's not right. Don't listen to me for English. Yeah, I was never really good at English or spelling. Okay, I'm going to come in and I'm going to go back to this bandana. There we go. I like that. That's better. I'm going to still go into her. Now, let's talk about this down here. Everything down here needs to be round. Do you remember what I said about making round over here on the sleeve? Okay, so what I said was, is that you want to do one side. So, I'm only doing one side. You see that? I'm only highlighting one side of everything. Now, because that sword is behind, in front of my skirt, I'm actually going to make a little shadow right there. Hey, she's looking pretty cute. Okay. I think I am going to go into her face. I'm going to test her face. It is dry. I did test it. I lightly touched it. So I'm going to come in here to where my skin tone was that I mixed. And I'm going to come in and be real careful to not get it everywhere. She just might have a blue face. That's okay. This is it. Okay. Now, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to make this floor a little bit darker. And the reason is, well, I believe one layer of watercolor is never enough, people. Mm, that was a good rule. One layer of watercolor is never enough. So you should always let it rest, come back, and then do another layer. And it gets brighter and bigger every time. I'm even going to come back in here to my red. And I can hardly tell I'm doing anything. That's kind of the point. I 
I, that hair is bothering me. All right. We are 10 minutes out. Now, you all know that I love, love, love to do my black outline. And that is true. I do. Because I really think that that helps watercolors pop. So, I'm adding a little bit of detail to these boots. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these boots, these gonna I'll walk all over you. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh my. Yes. I'm adding just little bitty details. You see how the more layers I add, the more she's looking like a real pirate. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I, who cares? The, her mouth is not right. As in like, it has no color. I'm taking the skin tone and I'm adding it to it. Then I might take a little bit of red with a lot of water and just dot it there. Now you gotta, when I say a little bit of water, you gotta have a little bit, otherwise your whole face will go red. We can't have that. Okay, I am feeling pretty good about my little girl. So, I'm gonna hit mine with a blow dryer real quick, okay? And y'all should still, I wanna hear if you all have any questions. So if you have any questions, let me know. Tomorrow, we're going to work on our little baby chick. We'll be using a whole lot of yellow. Yellow and orange. We'll be working on fur. So that means we'll be doing little short strokes. Now, does everyone see how my paper is buckling? One of my little neat tricks is, if it's dry enough, hit it from the other side. And it flattens it right off. Just like that. Doesn't even take much. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. How's everybody else feeling? Yeah, I still got some people over here on Facebook. Go you all. Instagram, you still got two people. Woo woo! Alright. So, now I'm going to do my black outline. And this is when I think she just like really comes to life. So, one of the things I want you to know about outlining is, is don't be perfect. We're not doing a coloring book here. We're sketching. And sketching is kind of messy. So, I like to scribble a little bit. Y'all see that? And one of the reasons I do that is you can't tell that you are doing anything wrong when you're doing this. It also creates visual interest and I think yesterday I told you that sketching actually creates movement in a piece right so I'm being I am going slower around the facial features because that's kind of important and on the eye I don't do the bottom half of the eye And I am going to put a little dot right there in the middle of the green. All right, Barb, I see that you have a question. And I'm still here. I just gave her a big black eye. <laughs> well, all I can say is about a big black eye. Just put a, a thing on it right there and like, a, you know, make it a... What do you call that? A p eye patch. Yeah. Or a bandage. You know, pirates get hurt all the time, right? All right. Lisa, let's see. Just a comment. I never thought that my pencil would be so old that the eraser would ruin my pick. And bingo. That's what's happened with this pencil. I have a pencil here that's so old that if I, and you know how to test that, is that if this eraser is hard as rocks, mine is so hard, oh my goodness, it's so hard, 
that I refuse to use it, and that's why I have my kneaded eraser. My kneaded eraser is my favorite eraser ever. It is, you buy them at, um, in the drawing supply part of Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I, maybe. I think Walmart has them. But it's kind of doughy. And it works fantastic. But yes, I actually don't believe in erasers on pencils. For that reason, I just don't trust them. I just don't trust them. And I would say this too, Lisa. You could always paint over it. Paint over the uh-oh. Nothing's ruined, ever. All right, so I'm running. I'm kind of coming in here. And, oh, that is fantastic. Look at that sword. It just went boom. Now, remember I said it was a ratty outfit, which means it doesn't have a seam. That's good. And I come in here. Now, I will say, I don't normally draw boots like this. Kind of got lazy today with that. Now, you know what I may do? So, I feel like I want, I need an eyebrow. I want her to have eyelashes because she's a pretty one. Yeah, there you go. Now, I'm going to add just a few to these red things like that and you know another thing that you can do when you are doing is that you can add little tick marks right and that kind of shows some shading this is a good to spot to actually draw the shape of our skull all right, guys. I'm looking good here. All right. Here we go. This is looking pretty good. Now, I can't wait to see what you've done. Make sure you show me what you've done. Look, we have our little, our little couple here. They're ready to go fight, aren't they? Take over the seas. All right. I wanted to say that tomorrow we're going to do our baby chick. And then on Thursday, we're going to do our bunny. And in order to send me what you've got at the bottom of this playing on my Facebook page, you could actually have... Um, you could actually have uh, post it in the comments. Barb, I think you did that on one of my things, and I thought that worked really well. That'd be great for all of us to do, is to post it in the comments of this actual thing. Now, I know on Instagram, that's a little bit harder. Instagram's about to cut me off, guys. It's got one minute left. So, I wanted to show you that. Know that I've got this paid class coming up, a hydrangea. Look on my feeds to see more about this. I also have a acrylic art class coming up with hydrangeas too. So, 